And here's the proof. Here is the proof. You know what this means? Possibly. This is a. Th I'm. I'm formulating this theory as it comes. We're above ground right now. Okay. You know why? You know what is somewhere? Uh, let's see. It would be. It would be over there. We are now in the Awakening Wood again, because we went out of a birdhouse, which was above ground, and we fell down to light ground. So we're actually on the other side. I think we're on the other side of the. Uh, awakening wood, so we're basically out of bounds. And that's why this area is so flat. Also, there's a creeping stamp. Mom. Uh, do I even need to. Wait, what? What? White Pikmin? Really? Get over here. That was kind of scary. It just. It's so cool. I, I don't think we're below ground right now. I mean, we could be, but it's just. It's such a dynamic cave. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll waste it on him. Alright, uh, dismissing these. One Pikmin. Alright, this is how you defeat one of these. Is you throw some on it, and just keep... Keep throwing Pikmin on it. Oh, never mind. Never mind, I'm done. I, I didn't see the Pikmin there, that's fine. I honestly didn't even need to defeat that guy. All right, where are we going? Is there a treasure over here? No, but there's one of you. You can kindly die. There's nothing over here, is there? Huh. All right, I need to make sure that I bump into plants because I noticed in the Piclopedia, I'm apparently missing a plant in the Piclopedia, so I need to bump into as many as I can. Uh, an easy way. I guess I'll just inch along. Inch along onto this rock. And run. All right. What is what is over here? There's something on top of that. Nothing. All right. That's that's cool. I I will gladly take that. It's a uh, like a sand a sand doom. You can die. You can die as well. There. I was I, my thumb was hovering over the bitter spray button. I did not want to lose a purple to, to this of all enemies. This enemy is really easy. Oh, hello. You're also easy to kill. Get get down here. Get down here. Take it like a man. This is probably a dumb idea. There may be... Let me ready some Pikmin here. I'm feeling there's probably a trap on there. I need to protect them. Run to their aid. No, it's you. He's dead. Cool. Did you see that? One attack from the purple killed him, and it wasn't even a, him falling on him. Purples are just way too strong in this game. And our first treasure, which is sushi. I've never actually had sushi. I I want to have it one of these days, but apparently... unless you're, That texture looks really bad. Unless you're going to, to um, Seattle, Washington, or maybe Olympia, there isn't that much when it comes to sushi around uh, southern Washington, which is where I live. Alright. Let's... Olimar, come on. We're gonna have a picnic. Awesome. Man, I have so many sprays now. And that's... This is just from that technique. I just get so many sprays from this. It's, it's going to be really cool because there's a, um, an Easter egg involving getting a ton of sprays from a certain from a certain thing, or by doing a certain thing, um, and I think it gives 20 sprays, so with the, with the technique, it's doubled. What is over this way? There's nothing over here. This just ha harbors the cave. Also, there's an enemy out of bounds. That's kind of neat. Can he even... When he goes... I wonder if he can actually climb that, or does he get just get stuck? Uh, I don't have to risk these Pikmin. Let's just... Let's just go over here and exit the cave. Make sure... Okay, I'm good. I've gotten all the treasures. Let's delve deeper. Now we're below ground. It's taken us quite a while, but finally, we're below ground. Which technically means this is sub-level one. One of them... I feel like... 
I'm remembering there being Snagrits here. And not in this, I don't mean in the tire cave, I mean in this sub-level. Need to make sure, okay. My thought process whenever I land in a cave is always, first and foremost, are, am I safe here? Do I need to find sa uh, a, uh, a shelter? If the answer is no, then I, I look to see which direction I should go in first. And it's gonna be, are there any? There are. And get back in ground. No one likes you. And you're done. <sighs> There's one Snagrit. There are no more? What? I thought that played until you defeated all the bosses on a floor. Okay, I, I don't trust that. Let's, let's do a bit of a perimeter sweep here. There's one! All right. I thought that this would this music would play until I thought it would play until you, you defeated all the bosses on the floor, but apparently not. Maybe it plays until you defeat the boss that you saw. That's possible. Uh, let's take this down. I think we're fine now in, for for Snagrits. There won't be any more. They're giving us an ivory candy pot bud to sacrifice Pikmin, but I'm not going to. And that sausage looks good. <laughs> Quite often when I record, I skip eating, um, just to save time. And this is no exception, so I am I am famished right now. And that is looking very good. Really? That's that's odd. There, there are no more treasures on this floor. Not a single one. But there, there's so many ca there's so many gates. There are two f treasures on this floor. That's so weird. Well, I guess I, I will take these down, mainly because of you guys in the comments, who have been very active in this Let's Play, I might add. Uh, this, this Let's Play has gotten more popularity than Breath of the Wild, which is saying a lot, considering A, Breath of the Wild's brand new, B, that so many people have Let's Played uh, Pikmin 2, and C, Steven Plays is playing through it as well. He started about two months after I did, and mo a lot of my viewership does come from his channel. So it, it's kind of weird how much you guys have been liking this series, but I, I, I won't complain. I'm, I'm liking it as well. Really? 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 Mittite, you can, you can kindly die. In fact, I'm gonna take all these Mittites away because they they're disgusting okay what were you we doing oh you're doing a picnic got it that was that was pretty smooth I, I might say I didn't have to dismiss him at all well I, I mean I did but not to move him around okay I think we're oh nope one more thing let's throw yellows in there and I'll get this going and we have our white Pikmin, and we're done with the sub-level. This is going really smoothly, and I... Man, every single floor has been unique. Have you noticed that? Every single one. And this one will probably be no exception. Won't be an exception. Wow, really? It's not. This, this cave offers a little bit of everything. Making me very satisfied that I picked the sequel, the, uh, the finale caves that I did. Okay, are my safe? There are no wanderers around. No, I'm fine. Start here. Check for traps over here. Ugh. I'm good. Okay. Flower our new Pikmin. Alright, uh, can you please take that out, sir? And we'll go take care of him. Oh no! Get off him! Get off him! Okay. Whew. That was close. He would have thrown them right off of the edge. Okay, you, sir! Kindly die. And there's a Cupid's Cherry. I'm good. So far, the traps have not been malicious. But I, I'm not going to take my guard down. For, not for a moment. Okay, what is... What is over this way? Okay, okay. 
Cupid's Grenade. One of the more iconic items of, or um, treasures of the game because it appears in Pikmin 3 as well under the same exact name. All these traps have not have not been malicious. That's kind of refreshing, but also at the same time I feel like they're conditioning me for something. Oh, I need I need some Pikmin. All right. Oh! Oh, you, you white Pikmin! I saw that. All right, let's let's go this way just to check for more traps. It's kind of it's weird that they didn't give they didn't add a, uh, a scary enemy to this floor. It just, there are some dwarf bulborbs scattered around, a couple blowhogs. Nothing particularly menacing. It's, it's kind of odd. I'm half expecting there to be a bulborb drop from the ceiling. And I'm, I'm expecting it by this point. Okay, you guys take that out. Actually, there will be. Yeah, there's going to be. Notice? Yeah, there. I'm guessing uh, an orange bulb orb is going to drop from the ceiling. I need to be very careful of that. Where's the treasure? Unless it's in one of these dwarf bulb orbs. That's, that's possible. Really? It's in this guy? Oh, no. I knew it. How did I? How? How did I, how did I not lose Pikmin there? That was so dumb of me. I ran the complete opposite direction that I should have. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Are there anything in you guys? Do I need to bother with you? No. You're fine. All right, let's grab the magnet. That was, I, I thought for sure I was going to lose 30 Pikmin there. That was incredibly dumb of me. Oh. Okay, so I think that's the last thing of the floor. I'm expecting it to be, probably. Also, what is this going to be called? It's worth 150? Heavy duty magnetizer. And that's it. I'm I'm still I'm still in shock that I did not lose 30 Pikmin there. I thought for sure that that was it for my party. And those would have been purples too, because they're in the back. Whew. I was kind of... I was kind of a deer in the headlights. Also, here's where the streak ends. This is a very similar cave to the... Or sub-level to the one that was before it. It has an, an antenna beetle. What else does it have? So that's the wandering enemy, but... I don't trust that. Oh, I know what they're doing. That's so dumb. What they're doing here is they're they're setting up. I knew it. I knew it. They're setting up for enemies dropping from the ceiling by scrambling my treasure gauge so I don't know where they will drop. That is dirty. And you know what? I'm going to walk into their trap. I'm not going to take a shortcut. I'm guessing there's going to be a bull bear that drops. Hello. That is, yeah. I, I'm kind of glad that I can see that after all these years, you can see what the developers, developers intend to do. It shows that it's really good game design. I mean, they're working within the confines of their own game to continually make it fresh and new. Both with remixing traps and with clever combination of enemies. It's it's a good idea. It really is. And crystallized clairvoyance. I'm guessing there's going to be a bull bear, especially here because this is where the the antenna beetle is draw is falling primarily. Got him. I'm surprised he didn't jump away. Okay. Is that not an Okay, I thought that was an upgrade, but no. Whoa! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Where are they going to drop? Not here. 
But there is going to be an enemy that drops. Just not one treasure. Whoa, 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 whoa. One dropped, one dropped. Okay, it's you. I thought about checking that, but I I thought, surely there's not one on my connecting path, right? No, there is. Okay. <sighs> Emperor Whistle. And that's it. We don't have to kill that dwarf Bulborb, even though I did lose a Pikmin to him. I'd rather not... I'd rather not leave this cave extinct, because this is an interesting idea for a cave. That's another reason why I wish that they, you could do custom levels. Besides just arranging enemy layouts, if you could make your own customizable area, or, or cave, I guess, it'd be so cool. I might be able to cheese my way through this. I have a better way. Here, wait a minute. The Piliated Snagrit is the boss that, as a child... Well, first of all, we're, we're supposed to be introduced here to the Piliated Snagrit, and we're not... Get him... Get on... <laughs>